Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today is all about a Rallycross event that I attended very recently in the past week or so. Now, this was my first Rallycross event ever in terms of anything remotely related to the Rallycross that we see here in California. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And this video is just a quick little recap of how it went, how it went surprisingly well. And this video is a quick little recap on my green screen because I am not that good at vlogging when I'm having a ton of fun at a racing event at the same time. So you get it here on this wonderful green screen. And in terms of the specific, not just how the event went, but also the car itself, specifically uh, the different mods that I put on the car to make it possible, surprisingly few, as well as how the car did in terms of times, how I did in terms of times, and what I can expect for my next steps with Rallycross, because this adventure is definitely continuing. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Nathan, and I make car videos and adventure videos and lots of stuff like that. If you're into any of that, if you're into Rallycross, Autocross, if you're into Camaros, into Toyota MR2s, any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with someone who's also going to appreciate the content on here. Thanks so much. Okay, so let's get started with just what Rallycross is, if you haven't heard of it before. Rallycross is where you take a big dirt parking lot or just flat dirt area and you set up a little rally course with usually construction cones to drive around, set as fast of a time as you can, one car at a time. It's a really fun entry-level motorsport, really fun to just get to send it as fast and as far as you want because there are plenty of runoff space and you have a pretty loose surface, so you get to learn your driving dynamics of your car at the limit at much lower speeds than other sports. Rallycross, I had wanted to try it for a long time, but never really had a car set up for it. And then a couple months ago, I decided, you know what, I want to put some all-terrain tires on my Camaro. This was a weird turn of events that led to it. I'll, I'll go into more detail about the fitment and the wheel and tire setup in another video. But all you need to know right now is that the Camaro has some 18-inch all-terrain tires on it, and it's the Falcon Wild Peak AT Trail, very popular, very capable tire. And I decided last weekend, I said, hey, I'm going to take this to Rallycross and see what happens. So that takes me to what modifications are on the Camaro that led it to survive Rallycross, even with that crazy front overhang with the front splitter. My Camaro is the four-cylinder model, but it does have the 1LE track package, so it gets those ground effects, the little front splitter and stuff like that, that stick out really far. And, spoiler alert, no pun intended, it survived Rallycross unscathed. The upgrades on the car were just wheels and tires and a set of mud flaps. So the wheels, um, Black Rhino Boxer, 18-inch by 8.5, um, plus 12 offset, just the, the ones that stick out kind of from the car, gives it a really nice, like, I can't say hella flush, but like whatever term you use when you have all-terrain tires and it's flush with the fender. I think it looks really cool, but that turned out not to even be the best thing about it, because it also drove really nice at Rallycross. The mud flaps are just to protect the paint from rock chips and all that. All right, so once I got to this event, I got a lot of interested glances at the Camaro, a lot of funny looks of like, what did you just bring to Rallycross? And I am happy to say it actually made it around the track. actually made it around the track. My first couple of laps were went pretty smoothly and I was actually surprised at how fast it was. The quickest cars of the day were setting uh, low to mid 60 second laps. Um, most of the all-wheel drive cars were in that upper 60s, low 70s range. 
and I said my best time was a 77 in two-wheel drive with no experience. I have no complaints about that. I'm only a couple seconds off what I think would be a, probably a good pace for a rear-wheel drive car. And again, the Camaro, it's bigger, it's wider, it's heavier than most of the cars out there. And yet it still ended up doing surprisingly not bad. I won't say it did surprisingly well because I'm not skilled enough to know whether that was the limit of the car, but it was not bad. I, I had no complaints. What I did notice in those early laps was that it's the 2.0 four-cylinder motor, so it has to spool up the turbo to get that full torque of the engine, which is really good and it'll spin the tires over steer on command if it's in boost. But what I found is that I'm not skilled yet at Rallycross to know how to get those revs up in the slower corners and to say, hey, I need to do, I understand, a clutch kick or something like that. The car doesn't have a manual handbrake, sadly, so that's not an easy thing to do to handbrake turn. Again, I'm very new at this, so I don't know all the terminology in Rallycross, so what kind of maneuvers are what. But what I do recognize here is that I could improve my driving a lot from these laps at this event to whatever next event I end up going to. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to apply and learn a couple more things here. So what's next? What is the next kind of step here? Next one is definitely getting more seat time at Rallycross, learning more of the theory of how to drive around corners with low grip, and very importantly, just more and more practice and more and more intention to learn to drive faster, to carry that speed through the corners, and to know the car better in that setting. I've taken this Camaro to a ton of autocross events, but Rallycross is a completely different deal and actually even more fun. I do want to attend more Rallycross events, but I don't think I'm at the stage right now where I need any other mobs or upgrades on the car to make it faster at Rallycross. I'm at the point where the driver mod approach of just building up my skill with it and getting faster is going to be the primary thing I need to do in order to really improve on my Rallycross times. So, I mean, hey, taking a Camaro to Rallycross wasn't something even I expected to do, but I really enjoyed it and I'm really excited to document the next steps in this journey, this adventure as to where this is going to go and how it's going to drive. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you know anybody else who would enjoy this video, make sure to share it with them. And I hope to see you for the next videos. I'm going to be posting up more details on the wheel and tire fitment for the Camaro that led it to actually do okay at Rallycross, as well as my future events I'm attending and lots of other road trip Camaro content and all that. Looking forward to seeing you here soon. Um, again, I'm Nathan and I appreciate... Uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have an awesome day.